first amphibious model which had a land under carriage and the wingtip float so it could land on water. Before then they'd all been pure flying boats and there was actually a notice put in the cockpit saying just remember where you're landing and which undercarriage you've selected. <laughs> You mentioned its range, Tim. That was apparent right from the start. The uh, XP3Y patrol aircraft prototype first flew in March 1935. Then came the XPBY1 patrol bomber, and that machine set a new world distance record on its maiden flight of in excess of 3,400 miles per hour. So, what this aircraft would achieve in the Pacific, in the Battle of the Atlantic, and so forth was readily apparent from the outset of its development. Uh, it was quite vital to convoy security because of course U-boats forced underwater by the presence of an aircraft had to run on their batteries, which meant they were moving a lot slower than the convoy and it also meant that it shortened their range so they were less effective. Past now with the uh, wheel undercarriage down, or at least half of it at the moment.